watching the station that's working for you. Now, WMAR 2 News. I'm Christian Schaefer with your WMAR 2 News update. For the second time in less than a month, a Baltimore City Police Sergeant had to be rushed to shock trauma after being shot and seriously wounded. Sergeant Isaac Carrington shot at least twice Thursday afternoon right outside of his home in Northeast Baltimore. As of Friday morning, he remained on life support in the intensive care unit at shock trauma. Investigators say the sergeant was off duty. He was out in his yard talking with a neighbor. Summerfield Avenue in Northeast Baltimore when at least one man wearing a mask got out of a vehicle and tried to rob the two men. The neighbor threw some belongings on the ground and ran away. The sergeant ran in the other direction but wound up being shot several times. Police are looking for a blue four door Acura. There's been a $19,000 reward offered for information that leads to an arrest in the shooting of Sergeant Isaac Carrington. A former pastor in our area faces sexual assault charges and police are concerned there may be more victims. The pastor's name is Cameron Giovanelli. He had been the pastor at Calvary Baptist Church in Dundalk from 2003 through 2014 and now authorities say he had sexually abused a 17 year old between January and August of 2007 on the church's property and also at other locations. Police tell us there may be other victims out there. You can call the Crimes Against Children unit at the number that's on the screen right now if you believe you may have been a victim or no one. Giovanelli turned himself into police on Tuesday. He's posted bail. While he's out, he's not allowed to have any contact with a minor. Baltimore's Afram Festival is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, Drew Hill Park. There's going to be musical performances by artists including Rick Ross, Teddy Riley, and Drew Hill all weekend long, along with all kinds of different food. Afram, by the way, is one of the largest African American festivals anywhere on the East Coast. They get more than 100,000 people there each year. And Maryland's tax free shopping week starts on Sunday, just in time for back to school shopping. Certain clothes and shoes that cost $100 or less are exempt from the state sales tax, which is 6%. The first $40 of a backpack or a book bag purchase is also tax free. Tax free week starts Sunday and runs through Saturday of next week. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Sabrina Fine. Perfect timing for the tax free week. You might want to do your shopping outside because weather is going to be perfect as we have a cold front forecast to slide through today, really feeling its effects over the weekend. A live look out over toward Ocean City for us this morning. You're noticing a few clouds out there, but overall cold front right now sagging throughout the region. High pressure building back behind it, and as a result, we'll continue to watch for our winds coming in out of the west northwest, pulling in some of that cooler air. You're not going to really begin to feel it though. Once we get to tomorrow, that's when the temperatures are going to fall about five degrees compared to where they are today. Overall, that takes us about two degrees cooler than normal. By noon, we could look about 86 degrees in Annapolis. The same for the Inner Harbor and Essex. Watch what happens by the evening, though. We finally start to feel a little bit crisper and temperatures are still staying fairly warm. 88 in the Inner Harbor. Parked it at around 82 degrees. Nonetheless, perfect for a nice little barbecue. Saturdays when we start to see the temperatures drop. No longer are we talking about the upper 80s for you at around noon. Instead, we have the lower 80s, even some of the upper 70s in some locations like Annapolis 79. Perfect for a nice little stroll to finish around your back to school shopping for this morning. We're noticing a few clouds out there by noon mix of sun and clouds, but we'll call it mostly sunny 86 degrees for us by two o'clock. We're looking at 88 continuing to feel like we are close to the 90 degree mark, but the humidity drops 10 o'clock. We're looking at now 76 degrees staying on into the lower 70s for us into the evening hours. Seven day forecast shows us when that front completely is down. Noticing Saturday temperatures fall to 86 degrees. Sunday gets even cooler at 84. The humidity though and the heat return for us by Monday. That's look at your 7 day forecast. Christian, over to you. Okay, Sabrina, thanks very much. That's all the time we have for right now, but stick with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on your top stories and breaking news and for news and weather on the go. You can download the WMAR2 News app. It's in the App Store. It's got live radar and you can set up breaking news alerts to come straight to your phone or tablet. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.